Welcome back, folks, to more of The Walking Dead Season 2. Going to be starting Episode 2. Eventually. Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! You could have saved him! How could you just leave him? Cause that bitch got bit. Not get eaten. What are you doing, Nick? Dream. Pete got bit. What? He got bit. He wasn't going to make it. Pretty good reason, huh? What do we do now? I don't care. If we're stuck here, we should at least look around. Maybe we can find something to help us get out of here. Knock yourself out. Make some moonshine. It's still. I know what it is. The fuck you do. Okay, what then? It's for making booze. But that rig ain't fit to piss in. Ironically enough, the AMC Walking Dead series had Daryl and the blonde bitch making moonshine a couple episodes ago. Well, drinking All it anyways. This food is rotten. I said this food is rotten. Did 
Jackpot. What is that stuff? Let me see. Whiskey. Now what? Oh, fuck if I know. We wait, I guess. What's your problem? Dude's wasting that shit? Oh man. I had to kill my mom. Game order would punch you in the face. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. Everyone I grew up with, it all happened to them. You gonna share? Now, it's gonna happen to us. Greedy ass crap. We're all so fucked. This whole world is fucked. We'll make it. Bullshit. I mean, what's the point? We'll just march to some new place and somebody else will die. It's never gonna stop. Eventually, it'll be our turn. I can't believe we've been here a day. A day. It's been a day, right? Hey, kid. Have a drink with me. I thought you'd never ask. To Peter Joseph Randall, the nicest mean old bastard I ever knew. <laughs> Listen, they're not coming for us. You should go. Run for it. What, what are you gonna do? Stay here. I'm tired. Go find Luke and the rest. They'll take care of you. We can make it. We have to try. I don't have to do anything. Come with me. Are you kidding? And leave all this? You can't just sit here and die. Why not? What does it matter? You still have Luke and everyone else. They're family. Nick, I need your help. Please. You're right. Yeah. Now look, if we get separated, the cabin's only half a mile from here. You can't miss it. You ready? <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah! 
That's my type of language. Hey, over here! Come on, you fucks! Look at me! Get the fuck out of here! I said get the fuck out of here! Back in there when the whiskey's in. Get them zombies drunk. Episode two: A house divided. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? We got attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus! Pete got killed. I was with Nick, but... My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. Yeah, you already said that. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Take it. Clem? Whoa, that develops quick. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? He'll be fine. Are you sure? Sorry, I, I, I just need to... You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Okay, but it's not a toy. I know. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay, what do I do? The most important thing is, when you go to shoot, take a breath before you pull the trigger. <sighs> Not that big. <sighs> what should I shoot? Don't do that! S Fucking crazy Sorry. bitch! Sorry! Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back!
That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? Hello? Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Shh. Hello? Get out of here, now. Is that how your dad taught you to greet a neighbor? I've got a gun. A smart girl. I would too. But I'm not a bad guy, honey. Promise you that. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. I got balls. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? No, I guess not. Come on in, have some whiskey. Fuck it. It's That's a big Billy Bass. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. We have a big group. Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. They must trust you. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. I saw them. They're dead. You saw who? Where? Down by the river the other day. Walkers got them. I'm sorry. <laughs> the river? You sure about that? Pretty sure. Well, no offense, but I guess that wasn't them. Because the ones I'm looking for are very careful people. If you say so. Look, motherfucker. I never gave you permission to walk around my crib. Kick you right in your dingleberries. Well, it looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like close to ten people with you. More. Hmm. Just passing through or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north, looking for Shangri-La. Where do you live? Yeah, down by the river there. There's a sweet little spot with a boat where we pitch camp. Got a few tents up and everything else. And... Do you have a dog? No, I don't. What difference does it make? Just wondering. Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. What's his name? Carlos. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. I didn't hear anything.
I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? My sister. She's dead. Really? Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. Thanks. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Well, they locked me up in a shed. If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Why shouldn't I trust them? You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? Then I'm gonna hand you over. So we can have his way with you, bitch. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. You were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. He was coming in either way. I told you not to open the door for anyone. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. He said his name was George. George? That's what he said. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a mustache. Like mine, or more like Alvin's? Um, it was droopy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Uh, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy, or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. Uh, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. It was Sarah's idea. I don't care whose idea it was. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well... He was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Look, we gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now, with the pregnancy and all. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. 
I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. Nick! Get the door. Doesn't look like there's much whiskey left. Jesus. Hey, man. You got any aspirin? Nick, you asshole. Pete's dead. I know, man, I do. We gotta get moving. Okay, Carver's gang showed up. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go. Hey, Clem. I just wanted to say, thanks for not giving up on me. Don't worry about it. I won't forget it. What happened back there in that cellar? Did he do something stupid? He wanted to die. Well, it's not the first time he's been like that, but Pete was his last anchor. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher. I have to look for Krista. She was headed north, right? Yeah. So are we. Look, you're going to have a better chance of finding her with us than on your own. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beth. This bitch is gonna okay pop in four. Up. It's our only choice. She's gonna need some food stamps quickly. Got a, got a baby to feed. What's she gonna do without Obamacare? See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? It must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. Here, eat this back. But we're almost out of food. We gotta save it. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. That's what she said. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. 
Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. They're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone you too? want? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? I know what that's like. Yeah. Hmm. Can't shoot him. Too much noise. Let's take him. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. I think. You ready? Pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <clears throat> nice work, kid. <clears throat> Ow. That motherfucker. I can't reach. It's okay. Clem, look, we'll figure something out. Behind you! Oh shit. Hammer. 
shank that hoe. Yeah. Oh. Here, give it here. Clumsy bastard. Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. You do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. I'd shoot me. Well, that's a hell of a thing to say. I'm just saying. Well, if it comes to that, I'll shoot him first. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. I'm Clementine, and this is Luke. Clementine and Luke. Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. I'm not an asshole. Are well, you calling me an asshole? <laughs> You folks headed north, like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. They all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh... Awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 no. He's, he's with us. No! Put it down! Damn it, we needed that gun. Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Innocent people don't last long. That's good.